With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Let us try to solve the given problem. So the given problem is state that consider a spherical gaseous cloud of mass density rho r in free space where r is the radial distance from its center. So we have a gaseous clouds and its mass density is simply rho. R means the function of distance from the center. The gaseous cloud is made up of particles of equal masses moving in circular orbits about their common center. So gaseous cloud has some particles of equal masses and they are moving in circular orbits around their common center with the same kinetic energy. So here we have been mentioned the same kinetic energy. Now the force acting on the particle is their mutual gravity. The force acting on the particle is their mutual gravitational force. Now, if rho r is constant with time, so rho r does not change with time, the particle number density, that is we have to find rho divided by m, the value of rho divided by m. Now, let us try to analyze this problem. So, you can see here, I have drawn this diagram for better understanding of this question. You see that this is for gaseous particles of mass m having kinetic energy k and let us say their speed is v and they are moving around their common center let us take this their common center is o now you can see that within this common center there will be a lot of particles and they will be having gravity they will be exerting gravitational attraction on this particle now we can very easily see that if this is moving in a circular path then the gravitational force of all these particle must provide the centripetal force so the this is the resultant gravitational force due to all these particles which are inside this radius and let us suppose they have a mass equals to m and we can assume them to be placed at m so the net gravitational force due to all the particles should provide the necessary centripetal force for circular motion so let us now put the value so this is g capital m small m divided by r square now m is the mass within this radius mass of all the particles within this radius and centripetal force is simply equals to m v square divided by r now we have been given that they have equal kinetic energy so let us now convert mv square function into the kinetic energy right we will not cancel this out so let us convert this g m small m divided by r square so we can write this as half m v square into 2 divided by r so we can multiply and divide by 2 so this half m v square becomes kinetic energy and this becomes g capital m small m divided by r square so this will be simply equals to 2 divided by 2k divided by r now we can cancel out the r and we can find out the mass as a function of so this will be m equals we can find out m from here and this will be 2k divided by g into small m into r so you can see that this is obvious more the radial distance from the center more will be the mass that is inside the gaseous cloud right so this is simple now if we take an elemental sphere around this gaseous cloud so its mass will be simply dm this will be simply equals to 2kr 2k gm g small m into dr so this will be the elemental mass if we take an element here now in place of dm what we can write we can write density into dv so this will be simply equals to 2k divided by gm into dr now we can find from here dv what will be dv if we take an elemental sphere around this uh, gaseous cloud of thickness dr so volume will be simply equals to area into thickness surface area into thickness so surface area is 4 pi r square into thickness is dr so this will be the elemental volume and this will be equals to 2k dr divided by g small m now from here we can find out the density function so density will be simply equals to k times k divided by 2 pi g 
small m r square. Now we have to find the particle number density nr and which is simply equals to rho divided by m. So you can see here that rho is definitely a function of r. So if we want to find out rho, so rho divided by m, so this will be, we have to multiply it and this side also. So this will be k divided by 2 pi g m square r square. So let us try to match our options. So we can see here that this will be the correct option. I hope you understood the explanation. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.